So, we have uh, compared various uh, substations uh, the air insulated, the gas insulated and the hybrid uh, type of uh, substations. Uh, the equipments or the main components which are housed in any uh, substations are of uh, prime uh, importance and uh, this uh, maintenance of this import components also are equally important. So, we will be seeing uh, the main uh, components which are housed in any uh, air insulated or a gas insulated type of substation the uh, general principle of the operation of this equipments uh, which are installed. The first component uh, being the isolators which are a very important uh, component in any uh, substation uh, mainly helps in uh, the proper maintenance and uh, the isolating of the circuit during the maintenance aspect. So, 132 kV and above uh, will have a set of uh, uh, 3 individual uh, poles which have a double uh, braking arrangement uh, with one vertical brake earthing blade per pole that is very important and these are suitable for uh, fixing on either scale of the poles. So, these size isolators uh, similar to a circuit uh, uh, braking arrangement uh, have earthing blades and have some short time current uh, rating for their operation and these are both thermal and could act as a dynamic uh, uh, short term current rating uh, as that of the main uh, blades. Interlocks are also provided uh, to prevent the operation of isolator particularly when the corresponding circuit breaker is on. So, the very important point without interlock uh, interlocking facilities also been uh, uh, provided. So, these are th uh, switches shall also be manually operated by a separate uh, uh, a motor mechanism operating mechanism uh, for a typical uh, in a which is being used in any uh, substation for uh, the isolation of the uh, circuits connected with it. So, the operating mechanism shall be suitable and uh, it could hold the isolator either in a closed or in a open uh, position wherever the requirement is there and this will prevent the operation by gravity or by the wind or the, the, uh, because of the short circuit forces and could be because of the seismic uh, forces uh, there could be wind or vibration shock and the accidental uh, touching etcetera. So, several of these uh, aspects uh, could influence the operating mechanism of uh, isolator. The circuit breaker is a very important uh, uh, switching device uh, uh, which is basically a mechanical uh, switching device and capable of either making uh, and carrying and breaking the currents under uh, normal condition and also under uh, specified abnormal uh, conditions. So, types of uh, circuit breakers which are uh, in use for various voltage levels are 12 kV and 36 kV uh, generally used or minimum oil or bulk oil uh, type a vacuum circuit breakers or ISF 6 circuit breakers sulfur hexafluoride insulation uh, media. Uh, so, for s more than 36 kV again a minimum bulk oil minimum oil bulk oil or uh, SF 6 are available for voltage levels of 145 kV and above a minimum oil uh, M C B or a minimum oil uh, bulk oil or the air blast uh, or the SF 6. Uh, insulating uh, breakers are generally used in any uh, substation. Similarly, for uh, 220 uh, kV and above 420 and above uh, uh, either minimum oil or a bulk oil type uh, air blast or a SF 6 these four uh, types of circuit breakers are generally apply, uh, used for uh, uh, higher the voltages. However, uh, both the minimum oil the bulk oil and the air blast are phased out uh, with the advancement of technology. So, uh, very uh, the recent advancement because of the SF6 te technology and uh, having better insulating uh, properties uh, compared to the earlier oil type of uh, or a minimum oil type of uh, breakers. So, voltage levels above 145 kV and above employ SF6 uh, breakers and uh, vacuum circuit breakers are generally used for 11 and 33 kV uh, or uh, lower voltage uh, levels. So, these circuit breakers uh, may be of uh, live tank or a dead tank design. So, live tank uh, breakers are generally used for uh, outdoor uh, substations 
which have an interrupters uh, housed in a porcelain uh, weathering uh, shields. So, the circuit breakers uh, pertaining to the dead time uh, type have interrupters out, uh, housed in an earthed metallic uh, container with their connections uh, which are normally brought out through the porcelain bushings and these bushings uh, may be used to house the uh, current transformers. So, this is uh, the uh, use of the porcelain uh, housings for the circuit breakers either if it is a dead tank or uh, uh, it is of uh, the live tank arrangement. So, these circuit breakers are very important uh, component as said and are most uh, critical uh, switching elements in uh, a power system. Uh, and circuit breakers are only a means of uh, interrupting fault currents in the extra high voltage or ultra high voltage uh, system a very important component. So, we will just focus about uh, the importance of the circuit breakers, the type of circuit breakers uh, which are uh, used in the EHV and UHV substations. The circuit breakers are very fast and uh, secure fault interruption is required not only for the protection of uh, transmission system equipment, but also for overall operational uh, system stability uh, uh, is the utmost important uh, point. The interrupted rated uh, current under no load and the loaded condition and also under the fault conditions up to rated uh, symmetrical uh, fault currents um, it should be able to operate. Uh, circuit breakers are placed on uh, variably considerable with nature of uh, circuit involving the being uh, switched uh, to the required uh, time and interruption of uh, fault currents at very high voltage levels could lead to high uh, thermal and uh, dielectric stress on this breaker. So, this has to be considered uh, before going in for the proper design of the requirement of the breaker. So, even low level fault currents which are of capacity or inductive in nature can also place a very high uh, stresses on the uh, equipment that is on the circuit breaker. So, what are the main uh, important uh, functions or uh, the circuit breaker has to perform uh, are classified as uh, follows. Uh, so, the circuit breaker should primarily uh, focus into the uh, four important functions. It should carry the rated uh, current at the rated uh, voltage a very important point it should carry the rated current at rated voltage and power frequency whatever the power frequency voltage uh, which it is intend to operate continuously when in closed position. So, when the circuit breaker is closed it should be able to carry the rated current of the uh, bus bar or uh, the rated voltage which is to be operated and the power frequency uh, 50 hertz or uh, uh, which is designed uh, in the closed position and it should interrupt the rated current at the rated voltage and power frequency on trip command. So, once the command uh, pertaining to the opening of the circuit breaker is given it should be able to interrupt at that supply current or rated current which it is being operated. So, this interrupt fault current in case of fault in the transmission system also interrupt line charging currents and induction current. So, it should be able to interrupt any fault currents which are generated uh, because of the transmission uh, system. Uh, and the final point to be seen is it has to maintain the rated uh, dielectrics that is the insulation properties both for the power frequency and the impulse or the surge withstand levels when it is in open position. So, the insulation properties of the circuit breaker are also equally important for power frequency and surges which it withstand uh, during the opening of the circuit breaker. The, the transient recovery voltage is a very important term in the um, characteristics in the circuit breaker. So, voltage which appears across the terminals of the current interruption. So, the characteristics of uh, the transient recovery voltage that is both the amplitude and the rate of rise this uh, could lead to either uh, uh, successful current interruption or to the failure because of a restrike or reignition a restrike or reignition. So, for successful current interruption 
there should be uh, neither reignition nor a restrike. So, this has to be done so that the characteristics have to be successfully quenched uh, without the reignition or the restrike. So, the transient recovery voltage waveform is generally represented by the two parameters which are seen here the current waveform which is indicated in the uh, here and the transient recovery voltage waveform you can see the transient and the recovery voltage the supply voltage is somewhere here which is the dotted line and this is the transient recovery voltage uh, over a period of uh, time. So, very important uh, it should be able to see the um, successfully uh, interrupts the uh, restrike or the reignition which has happened. So, how to select the rating of a circuit breaker is again an important uh, planning which has to be carried out by the substation uh, uh, designers uh, for various uh, voltage levels. So, some of the typical uh, technical details are uh, uh, given here as per the international uh, standards uh, which are available. You can see the rated uh, voltage levels from a very low 36 kV to the 800 kV uh, voltage levels. Uh, the requirement for uh, the circuit breaker, uh, the rated uh, sh uh, short circuit uh, breaking capability or the current uh, in terms of kilo amps for a 36 kV, it should be able to uh, break the current at 25 and 31.5 kilo amps. As the voltage level increases, you can see uh, for a 800 kV or a EHV that is a 420 and above, the rated short circuit uh, breaking current uh, should be uh, able to uh, break 40. Uh, to, to 63 amps uh, kilo amps sorry and for 800 uh, rated uh, voltage um, minimum of 40 kilo amps should be the rated uh, short circuit breaking uh, capability of uh, circuit breaker. And uh, the normal uh, rated uh, current in terms of amperes you can see uh, for uh, 800 kV system. Uh, the normal uh, uh, rated uh, normal current could be anywhere between 2000 uh, 2000 uh, uh, 3150 amps uh, for a voltage uh, depends for a lesser voltage uh, it could be 1600 uh, amps the rated normal current which uh, it sees. So, the total break time as per the international uh, standard that is 62271 uh, clearly mentions about in case 145 uh, kV. Uh, voltage level the uh, circuit breaker should be able to uh, operate within uh, 60 minutes milliseconds to 100 milliseconds and in case of 245 uh, uh, kV the total break time uh, which is mentioned as per standard should not exceed more than uh, 60 milliseconds and for EHV transmission uh, oh, substation or EHV transmission levels more than 420 kV it should not exceed 40 milliseconds and for 800 kV it should not exceed 40 milliseconds. So, these are the uh, total break time as per the international uh, commission which has been specified uh, for the selection of the circuit uh, breaker uh, ratings. So, this is a typical example of how, uh, a high voltage or extra high voltage circuit breaker looks. Uh, you can see uh, it has to perform uh, uh, various functions uh, as mentioned earlier uh, such a uh, uh, a huge uh, equipment uh, which is to be in the circuit and it has to properly function uh, either uh, in making or the breaking of the uh, circuit whenever it is uh, required. So, this again is one of the typical example for the extra high voltage uh, uh, circuit breaker which is being employed uh, for a very high voltage or ultra high voltage uh, levels. Further with the development of the SF6 uh, technology. Um, a sulfur hexafluoride uh, insulating uh, uh, media is used as a insulating uh, uh, property. So, here again uh, design of uh, the circuit breakers with SF6 technology has gained uh, uh, importance in the recent uh, years and several of the breakers with SF6 technology uh, are being employed for uh, the uh, higher the voltage uh, EHV and UHV uh, transmission levels consisting of uh, both the interrupting units with several interrupting units connected in series uh, which is an advantage and also high speed uh, switch uh, for uh, closing the uh, resistors. So, several options are been available and designs are available from various uh, manufacturers uh, across the globe. So, the 
weight of the circuit breaker is also drastically reduced uh, by going in for SF6 uh, technology. Uh, so, for 1100 kV uh, various type of uh, circuit breaker uh, from different voltage levels are uh, just uh, highlighted here. You can see for a 300 kV with single interrupter uh, for 550 kV with two interrupters and 550 kV with PIR. What is PIR is very important pre insertion resistors. So, why this pre insertion resistors are used for circuit breaker we will uh, discuss about this and this circuit breaker again uh, is used for 1100 kV with the PIR. So, the technology has advanced and uh, the compactness of the breaker has also been uh, achieved uh, by going in with the SF6 uh, technology. So, this uh, PIR uh, uh, pre insertion uh, resistor uh, is a very important uh, uh, which is being used in the circuit breakers. Uh, generally, uh, it is uh, uh, 200 to 400 ohms and uh, which uh, this uh, gets temporarily closed uh, before uh, closing the circuit breaker. The sequence is uh, operation of the circuit breaker is uh, the closing of the pre insertion resistor. After closing of the pre insertion resistor, uh, with a gap of 10 to 12 milliseconds the closing of the main uh, circuit uh, takes a place say a circuit breaker contact uh, takes place. So, this is the important function uh, how it is important uh, see while again in opening the pre insertion uh, resistor is first disconnected by the breaker operating mechanism and after 10 milliseconds the main uh, contact of the breaker are generally opened. So, this is the mechanism of uh, the use of the pre insertion resistor uh, in the circuit breaker. The main purpose, the main important purpose of uh, using the uh, pre insertion uh, resistor uh, is to uh, limit the initial charging current of the transmission line. So, as the charging current of long line will be much more. So, it is advisable to use the breaking breaker with uh, a pre insertion uh, resistor. So, few of the examples are shown here for the very high voltage with uh, for uh, 550 kV with the pre insertion resistors similarly for 1100 kV. So, the pre IR serves to limit the initial charging current of a long line and uh, it is advisable to use the breaker uh, for better protection above uh, EHV levels with the PIR uh, inserted in the breaker. Uh, so, that was about the some of the important uh, components uh, which are uh, in the substation. Continuing that uh, insulation uh, coordination is a very important uh, aspect uh, for the proper uh, uh, design of uh, the substation or uh, the transmission or any of the equipment uh, electrical equipment which is uh, being used for uh, the very high voltage uh, levels. So, the electrical equipment we know that insulation or dielectrics uh, must be uh, specified, uh, designed and uh, constructed in an optimized way. Uh, this uh, we have uh, tried to discuss with the comparison and the main intention of going in for insulation uh, withstand uh, not only uh, to see that it has to be an optimized way and also to see that it withstands the electrical stresses for a long period of time uh, which can be expected in the uh, electrical network. Uh, the main goal uh, is also to see that it is essential for the reliable operation of uh, any electrical system and uh, this has to be achieved uh, by applying the principles and uh, practices of uh, insulation coordination. As the voltage level goes high, higher and higher at extra high voltage and ultra high voltage the planning of insulation coordination uh, gains a very important uh, uh, or uh, is considered to be an important aspect. Uh, for a very high voltage uh, levels. So, the insulation coordination is in fact the uh, methodology uh, which will help to ascertain uh, the electrical stress uh, that could occur in any electrical network and this will coordinate uh, with the stress uh, with the withstand characteristics of uh, the electrical equipment in a techno economic uh, manner that is very important uh, point to be considered techno economic manner. So, it should be also economical, it should be technically viable. Uh, so, that the result in selection of the insulation level 
uh, that is optimized uh, for a reliability and an economic perspective. So, the insulation coordinate uh, coordination uh, plays a very vital role above uh, 400 kV or EHV or UHV transmission uh, substation or uh, insulation aspect. So, various voltage stresses in service we have uh, discussed earlier. The main is the system voltage and the over voltages. Again, the over voltages are categorized into a temporary uh, over voltages, which could be uh, for a few cycles, a few tens of milliseconds. And the light switching surges again, it switching could be of the operation of the uh, circuit breakers, uh, closing and uh, opening of the circuit breakers or any other switching activity. And lightning is mainly caused by the natural lightning, the lightning surges which uh, uh, impinge on the transmission or uh, the distribution network uh, could create the voltage stresses uh, in the insulation uh, of the equipment in service. So, these uh, over voltages in any network, when you look uh, uh, into this graph which shows the amplitude that is the voltage amplitude in per unit of the peak value or is the y axis and x axis become uh, is shown as the voltage duration that is a time period uh, in uh, seconds. You can uh, see here uh, for the lightning uh, aspects in case of the lightning, the surges which are uh, developed because of the lightning activity could be a very fast fronted uh, type of over voltage surges. So, earlier we have discussed, so lightning over voltages uh, could be of uh, uh, the fast fronted nature that is a very steep fronted could be of uh, in microseconds that is 1.2 microseconds could be the front uh, and the tail could be uh, anywhere between 50 microseconds. So, these lightning surges uh, could be of very high magnitude and uh, fast fronted. The second surges are of uh, switching in nature, the switching again because of the closing or uh, the opening of the circuit breakers. Uh, these switching surges are comparatively slow fronted uh, uh, surges uh, or over voltages. This slow front again it could be 250 uh, milliseconds uh, there it is a microseconds 1.2 microseconds it is 250 milliseconds uh, sorry microseconds and 2500 microseconds. So, the surges of switching um, have a typical uh, wave shape of 250 by 2500 uh, microseconds. Apart from lightning and switching surges we have a temporary uh, over voltages uh, which could last for few cycles this again are of low frequency could be of uh, the power frequency uh, related uh, over voltages uh, slightly above the normal operating voltages. And finally, the entire power frequency voltages which are in continuous in nature where the electrical stress uh, on the insulation lies this will be for a longer period of time. So, this gives the clear differentiation between uh, various surges or the transients uh, over voltages like switching lightning and temporary over voltages which are of low frequency and the power frequency which could be for a very long period of uh, time. These are various over voltages which occur in a uh, transmission or a distribution uh, network. So, how the strength of a typical insulation uh, is uh, estimated you can uh, see here this graph gives the voltage amplitude per unit of peak value again versus the voltage at duration. Uh, this gives you the basic insulation level in case of the lightning impulse withstand of the equipment or the switching impulse or switching surge withstand uh, impulse level including the surge impedance loading of any equipment. So, the power frequency withstand is given uh, for the voltage amplitude which is shown as uh, per unit. So, you can see the basic lightning impulse withstand level could be any uh, way between uh, 4 uh, per unit, but the basic insulation level is 2.8 to 3 per uh, 2 point less than 2.8 per unit. For switching impulse or switching surges withstand it could be 3.5 with surge impedance loading and lesser than that it could be 2 to 2.2 uh, per unit. And for power frequency it could be around 2 per unit uh, of the peak value where this surges or the typical insulation strength of the equipment is considered. What are the insulation levels and the clearances? This also have been uh, discussed earlier. 
So, insulation levels and clearances are very important and this will be based on the proper uh, design or insulation coordination studies uh, which are to be conducted. A typical example for one particular substation in the country that is a Sioni substation of uh, 765 kV uh, is uh, given here how the parameters have been uh, identified and how the insulation coordination has been uh, done for the actual system of 765 kV substation. Uh, very clearly you can see electrical clearances uh, which are uh, designed uh, the main parameters and the value are uh, given here. The electrical clearances from face to earth that is the conductor to the structure uh, the required uh, coordinated value is 4900 uh, millimeter. For face to earth that is a rod to structure it is 6400 uh, millimeter. Face to face that is a conductor to conductor clearances is uh, 7600 mm for a 765 kV uh, substation and the face to face conductor to rod it is given uh, estimated to be 9400 mm. And the circuit breaker uh, requirements that is the insulation level requirements for a circuit breaker. The lightning impulse withstand level LIWL is uh, 2100 kV. Switching impulse withstand uh, level is 1550 kilo volts. For the transformer and the shunt reactor, uh, the insulation uh, level required for a 765 kV substation uh, is lightning impulse withstand level is 1950 kV and for switching impulse withstand level is 1550 uh, kilo volts. So, some of the practical information uh, which uh, is being uh, used in the country uh, for a 765 kV uh, ultra high voltage uh, substation. Uh, these are some of the clearances for transformer circuit breaker and the sun reactor and the values prescribed uh, based on the insulation level and the clearances required. Similarly, insulation levels for a very high uh, ultra high voltage systems uh, a comparison is uh, generally done here. You can see for uh, equipment which are uh, used at 1100 kV test station in Japan and uh, the equipment which is in service in China and the equipment under construction in India is been uh, given here. You can see the first row corresponds to the equipment uh, under test at Japan for 1100 the power grid in India for the values of 1200 kV and in China 1100 kV a comparison has been made. You can see the lightning impulse withstand uh, values the rated voltages are being 1100 in case of Japan 1200 in case of India and 1100 in case of uh, China. The lightning impulse withstand uh, voltage uh, level for a circuit breaker in case of uh, Japan 1100 kV the requirement has been estimated to be 2250 kilo volts. In India for uh, 1200 kV it is 2400 kilo volts and a similar uh, voltage level 1100 for uh, in China it is followed 2400 kilo volts. For transformer it is 1950 in case of uh, the uh, comparison in uh, Japan uh, 1100 kV system it is 2250. Uh, 2250 both in China and India for uh, 1200 and 1100 kV respectively. It is about the lightning impulse withstand. For switching impulse withstand uh, for the circuit breaker and the transformer the values are uh, given here. Uh, you can see uh, both for 1200 kV uh, and 1100 kV the values are identical that is 1800 kilo volts both for circuit breaker and the transformer are being estimated and being uh, 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 planned to be uh, used in the substation for ultra high voltage substation. So, comparison of the insulation levels for uh, different system voltages uh, are uh, given here uh, based on the estimation. So, you can see here uh, various uh, voltage levels uh, from uh, voltage levels of 220 kV to the EHV level ultra high voltage uh, levels 800 and 1200 kV. The rated voltage uh, peak uh, 1 per unit per kV is very clearly given here for 240 it is uh, 200 for 420 kV it is 343 800 it is 653 and for 1200 it is 980 kilo volts. So, 1 minute power frequency withstand voltage uh, for this insulating system for a 245 kV the requirement is 460 kilo volts and for 400 it is 630, 800 kV it is 960 and for 1200 it is 1200 kV. So, it has to withstand for 1 minute uh, operating voltage power frequency withstand. Then switching impulse uh, withstand 
uh, lightning impulse withstand values are also given here for 220 kV system uh, the lightning impulse will be 1050 and for two 400, uh, 400 kV it is 1050 in case of switching and 1425 in case of lightning impulse for 800 it is 1550 2100 uh, kV and for 1200 it is 11, uh, 1800 and 2400 uh, kV uh, is the uh, specified uh, limits uh, uh, for the lightning and switching impulse uh, voltages. In case of per unit this gives the values for switching impulse voltage, lightning impulse and lightning impulse withstand a level uh, for rated uh, voltage. These are the uh, per unit uh, values which are being uh, given. You can see for a 420 kV it is 3.06 and for 1200 it is 1.86 and in case of 800 it is 2.3 for switching impulse and for lightning impulse it is 4.15, 3.22 and 2.45. This is a very important uh, aspect to be considered for the various insulation levels. This gives an idea of uh, the insulation coordination which is being done for the various voltage uh, levels which are being adopted. So, the important component of the uh, uh, substation is the surge arrester uh, which is a plays a major role uh, to control or to contain the over voltages which have been uh, discussed it could be lightning, it could be switching or other uh, over voltages. So, surge arrester plays a major role and uh, proper uh, planning uh, coordination of this is very important. The parameters of uh, various equipment are decided considering the presence of uh, this surge arrestor in the system and these surge arrestors are connected uh, uh, to each phase and ground. So, the system to control the voltage stress that these equipments will experience under normal and also any contingency conditions. So, the surge arrestors require very high energy discharge capability very important as the voltage level goes the current cap carrying capability the power requirement will be high, high. So, the substation which uh, the surge arrestors are housed have to see the energy discharge capability. So, very important. So, again the energy disp uh, it could be a distribution it could be a class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, various class of surge arrestors are being used for uh, different uh, uh, voltage levels to see the energy uh, which is discharged and uh, the surge arrestor should be capable of uh, uh, discharging the surges uh, to the ground uh, in a uh, to see the equipment is being uh, properly protected. So, the discharge capability is considered with the stringent duties and sustained uh, over voltages particularly in the ultra high voltage uh, system and extra high voltage systems. So, a single phase to earth fault gives rise to over voltages in healthy phases up to 1.4 per unit. So, the fault is generally cleared in 100 to 140 milliseconds by opening local end circuit breaker at 120 milliseconds and the remote end of the circuit breaker at 140 milliseconds. So, the energy which is to be handled uh, is very important. The energy which is to be handled by metal oxide surge arrestor and during these conditions during the fault clearance conditions or the fault is to be cleared with the opening and closing. Uh, conditions uh, such a huge energy is to be handled by this metal oxide surge arrestors and uh, due to the temporary over voltages could be about 35 mega joules. So, high energy uh, up to 35 mega joules. So, the above duty followed by the discharge class that is the class 5 uh, of uh, the surge arrestors where 2 shots of 5 mega joules each and a margin for non uniformity accounts uh, usually for about 55 mega joules for metal oxide surge arrestors are used for a such a high uh, discharge uh, class. So, when we look into the V i characteristics the volt uh, current characteristics of any uh, typical surge arrestor the y axis shows the kilo volt per peak uh, in magnitude and the current kilo amps in uh, x axis. You can see the characteristics of the surge arrestor uh, is typically uh, looks like uh, this uh, where initially uh, rises and tries to stabilize at a uh, current rating after uh, say 8 uh, kilo amps and you can see that the stability uh, is uh, maintained. 
What are the search uh, arrestor uh, parameters? Uh, the search arrestor rating in case if it is 850 kV RMS, uh, the continuous operating voltage of the arrestor uh, will be 693 kV. So, for a rating of 850 kilo volts, the continuous operating voltage of a search arrestor will be 693 kilo volt RMS. The minimum continuous operating voltage MCOV of arrestor is 723 kilo volts and lightning impulse protection level at 20 kilo amps is 1700 kilo volts per peak and switching impulse a protection level at 2 kilo amps is 1500 kilo volts per peak. The energy of the arrestor which is to be diverted will be 55 mega joules and the pressure relief class is 40 kilo amps. The line discharge class is class 5 as per the International Electrotechnical Commission. So, this technical parameters are for uh, UHV ultra high voltage uh, range more than 765 kV level uh, protection system which is being used in the substation. So, so or higher the 1100 kV or 1200 kV uh, systems. So, similarly some of the technical uh, requirements of the metal oxide uh, uh, gapless arrestors. Again arrestors are uh, basically uh, classified into gapped and uh, gapless. I uh, would like to mention here the old technology, the technology which was earlier used was the gap type of arrestor containing the silicon carbide elements stacked one above the other with uh, uh, gaps in between each blocks. The recent technology is uh, using the metal oxide a zinc oxide based vari, uh, arrestor elements which are stacked one above the other without a gap. So, that is a reason which is known as a gapless uh, type of arrestors which is of recent uh, technology being used for the extra high voltage and the ultra high voltage uh, transmission uh, system. So, this uh, um, table gives information about uh, various uh, voltage levels of uh, the arrestor which is being used rated arrestor voltage. 320, 216, 120, 33 kV class and the maximum continuous operating voltage level is given here. And typically the installation is outdoor, a class could be heavy duty uh, station class that is a gapless type of arrestors are employed. So, type of construction for 10 kilo amps rated arrestor, it should be single column, it will be a single column. If the voltage level goes higher and higher, the surge arrestors have to be in parallelly uh, connected and uh, going for two or uh, multiple columns. And normal discharge current uh, corresponding to the lighting impulse of the surge arrestor at 8 by 20 microsecond wave shape will generally be a 10 kilo amp uh, RMS for all the type. Uh, the type of mounting will be pedestal. These are some of the technical aspects of the lighting arrestors which are used for lower uh, voltage class less than 400 kV. And the long duration class is uh, class 3, uh, there are class 2, 3 and 4 and 5. So, ratio of switching impulses, these are some of the technical parameters for switching and the symmetrical fault current in case of pressure relief has to be operated. So, these are the values 40 kilo amps RMS and the corona extension, it depends on the rated voltage of the arrestor. The corona extension voltage has to be uh, defined by the rating of the arrestor. And what is the maximum uh, interference, uh, radio interference uh, with the energized minimum continuous operating voltage, it should not exceed 1000 micro volts or uh, 500 micro volts if the voltage is very less. And the minimum creepage uh, distance of the arrestor housing uh, requirement, again it depends on the voltage level here, this is the creepage length which has been uh, technically given. So, this uh, shows uh, the typical surge arrestor which is being used. Uh, for a EHV or uh, UHV transmission, uh, the column of uh, the ceramic bushings containing the number of elements uh, in uh, blocks, zinc oxide blocks uh, which are uh, housed in this uh, uh, ceramic housing, a similar uh, uh, surge arrestor is uh, shown here. So, these are typical uh, examples which are used for the EHV and UHV uh, transmission uh, systems. Again, uh, this uh, figure uh, shows 
uh, the surge arrester or uh, zinc oxide uh, blocks, these are the zinc oxide blocks which are uh, stacked inside the porcelain housing with suitable uh, pressure relief arrangement and uh, pressure uh, valves in case of emergency. So, this is how the blocks are rated for various classes from the distribution class 1, class 2, class 3, 4 or 5 which are being used for uh, ultra high voltage uh, systems. A very important component and the insulation coordination uh, is mainly uh, uh, to see that the equipment uh, like the transformer uh, the switch gears are protected. So, surge arrestor plays a very important role in the substation uh, for the coordination of the insulation. This is one of the example uh, which have first uh, prototype of uh, 850 kV surge arrestor which is being used for 1200 uh, kV uh, system is uh, shown here. It consists of a multiple uh, stacks uh, four uh, stacks parallel stacks combined with several um, zinc oxide elements uh, housed in this uh, ceramic uh, shells. Uh, so, this is one of the first type of uh, design uh, when uh, required for a 1200 kV experimental line. Uh, in the country uh, was uh, developed. Some information about uh, the parameters and some arrest details uh, based on the values, uh, how the rating of the element is calculated. The information is available in the uh, standards pertaining to the uh, surge arresters. Uh, but anyhow uh, could I would like to give some information on uh, how the number of uh, blocks uh, are uh, chosen for a particular uh, uh, rating. So, you can uh, see here uh, depending upon the discs number of discs in case uh, it is used for the discharge class 5 the rating of the disc uh, continuous uh, the rating of the disc could each be 3.3 kilo volts. So, in case of uh, the 3 point uh, rating of the zinc oxide element that is a block is 3.3 kV RMS used for 20 kilo amp level and the discharge class is 5. So, how many blocks in one column it is estimated that 850 kV is the voltage level divided by the 3.3 will give 258 uh, arrestor blocks to be used. So, the residual voltage or the protection level uh, lightning impulse protection level with considering 4 parallel columns uh, at 20 kilo amps uh, is uh, 5 kilo amps per column. So, it comes down to as 4 columns are there. So, 258 blocks into 6.65 uh, kilo volts will give you 1715.7 kV peak is the total residue voltage of the surge arrestor of 850 kV rating. So, similarly residue voltage protection lever for switching impulse with 4 columns uh, comes to 1496 uh, kilo volts. Again, this is calculated based on the number of blocks and the voltage level uh, switching voltage level of one single uh, arrestor. So, it comes to 1496 kV. Then, uh, minimum continuous operating voltage of the arrestor is 2.84, it is a 3.3 kV disc. So, 2.84 is the minimum continuous operating into 258 blocks will give you 732 kV RMS. The energy handling capability for 4 columns as uh, shown here, this 4 columns will be the operating duty test into number of discs into number of columns. This will be typically 55.78 uh, mega joules uh, which is uh, very high. So, the energy in long duration withstand test again it depends on number of discs into number of columns uh, say 54 kilo joules into 258 into 4 it is 58. 55 uh, mega joules of uh, energy has to be handled by the arrestor elements. So, this is again uh, the matching of electrical characteristics which are used for 1200 kV uh, system. Uh, operating voltage is 850 kV uh, for a voltage uh, current rating of 20 kilo amps and discharge class as mentioned earlier uh, class 5. So, the maximum system voltage uh, is 1200 kilo volts. The rating of arrestor which is already decided is uh, 850 that is 70 per 1 percent of the maximum uh, voltage which is operated at 20 kilo amps discharge class. So, maximum continuous operating voltage will be 1200 by root 3 693 kilo volts. The desired uh, minimum continuous operating is 725 uh, 
727 uh, kilo uh, volt RMS. So, the tested value of the minimum continuous operating of our ester both for duty class and uh, for transient conditions is 727. Uh, so, the equipment uh, which is tested is lightning impulse with stand and switching impulse with stand uh, voltage levels is 2200 and 800 kV respectively. And in case of uh, programmed case lightning arrest, uh, lightning impulse protection level is 1725 and the switching is 1500 kV, but actually it is uh, 1715 and 1496. So, the protective margin is higher uh, for both lightning impulse and switching impulse. So, other uh, details uh, of estimation like the total uh, creepage distance of the entire harvester uh, housing is uh, 32300 uh, mm which actual requirement is 32800. So, height from the mounting plane is 9700 mm and dry arcing distance 8150 mm. Uh, the grading ring to arrest to bottom and the routine bending load uh, specified long term load is 6 kilo Newton. So, these are some of the uh, technical parameters uh, which are required uh, to be estimated for the 1200 kV uh, lightning arrester which is being housed in the substation. Uh, thank you, uh, we will continue.